Hello everybody, Andrew Majewski here with Dental Health Tutoring. In the video today, I want to talk to you guys about how to study from a textbook because there is a right way to do it and there is a wrong way to do it. The wrong way will set you back. You will literally spend hours studying and it's just the wrong way so you won't actually retain any of that information and that's the worst thing you can possibly do. So I tell everybody, if you have not signed up for a tutoring program, you should because we make it so much easier for you to study the right things. So that way you don't have to spend, let's just say eight hours studying and seven of those hours, you kind of didn't spend the time studying properly. So you don't remember any of that information. So I actually don't tell people to study from a textbook because you might not be doing it the right way. But if you're going to though, I want to tell you guys how to do it and the answer may surprise you. So just take a textbook like this, you know, a big, thick textbook. It could be dental hygiene, dental assisting, it doesn't matter, but a thick textbook. Don't start with the first page and start reading, you know, and then the second page and then the third page. You will get quickly um, bored probably after half an hour. And you will go, okay, I can't do this. And then you will just not study at all. You might just not study for that entire day. And then you'll come back the next day and go, okay, where did I leave off? I left off on page six. You know, you're not even into any of the study material yet. So another wrong way to do it is to just kind of go for chapter one, just start studying chapter one. And I don't know if you guys have looked into this textbook yet, if you're a dental hygiene student but it's not an easy read at all. I actually tell you guys, don't study for the port exam using this textbook. There's much easier ways to do it. It's a good textbook to have to, to, um, to quickly kind of research or to look up something, but definitely don't turn to a page and start studying because you either study by reading everything over and over and over again, or you might study by highlighting. You might study from taking your own notes, but doing it from a textbook is not going to help you. But if you're really going to do it from the textbook, because that's kind of what the whole video is all about, what I want you to do is to literally go to the table of contents, whichever textbook it happens to be, and look at the different um, topics and the different chapters. Let's say you want to start with um, chapter 16. Start there. Read that entire chapter and then that's it. And then if that maybe took you an hour, then go to another chapter and read the whole thing. Don't go in order because if you go in order, at, after like two hours, you'll probably get done like 17 pages. And then you'll be looking at the rest of the textbook going, oh my God, I still have all of this to do. But if you just simply go by different chapters, say chapter 16, chapter two, and chapter seven on Monday, and then do chapter 13, chapter one, chapter 20 on Tuesday, you're mixing it up every single time. And how you should study for a chapter, now this is different for everybody. If I was the one taking the board exam, I would actually read the entire chapter once and then read the entire chapter again. Because for me, I pick up things better by reading it often. I never um, take notes. I never highlight. Um, I shouldn't say never. I do highlight if I kind of know something's important and I, and I just want to quickly glance at it afterwards, but that's the only time. If you guys spend the time writing out your own notes, you'll be rewriting the textbook basically. But if that's how you study better, then only write in your own notes what's really important. So then you might be wondering, well, what's really important? And that's where tutoring comes in. That's where my courses help you, is I pretty much took this entire textbook and other textbooks too. Um, you guys have probably heard me say before, but it took me many, many years to um, develop my courses in the first place. And now I update them every three or four months anyway, but it's a lot easier to update a course than to write the entire thing. So it took me years. But I have literally taken, let's say this, this textbook, 
page by page and wrote it in PowerPoints in a much easier to understand format. So chapter 17 could be, I don't know, 50 pages. Well, I take all of that and then I explain it and rewrite it in PowerPoint. So my pages might be 20 pages. Um, depending on what topic it is, of course, there might you might see a PowerPoint of 100 pages and then you might see a PowerPoint of 20 pages. It really depends on those topics. And if you are to read my PowerPoints, don't think to read the whole PowerPoint in one day. Some PowerPoints are so large that you want to do it over a couple days, but that's where I make things easier for you because I will actually let you know and give you an idea. Um, I might say, well, module one might take you two days to study. So if it takes you three days, not the end of the world, but if it takes you a week, you know you are moving too slow. If it takes you two hours, then you're moving way too quickly. So I do kind of help you guys that way too. All of my courses are in modules plus mock exam questions at the end to truly test your knowledge. But as I said before, if you want to study from a textbook, don't read it from page one on. Read different chapters and mix it up every single day. That will help you get the most from your textbook because there are probably there, there are probably some of you guys out there who have only purchased textbook and that's how you want to study from. But remember, there's a right way to study from a textbook and the wrong way. The wrong way is to definitely just kind of go from page one and then the whole thing. That's impossible, you guys. You will be exhausted and I can tell you more importantly, you won't remember anything and then you'll have to restudy everything again anyway. That's the worst thing to do because you don't have time for that. You won't feel very confident taking the board exam, and did I mention you won't have time for that? You won't have time to read this whole thing and then study everything again. No way. So I hope this helped you guys. Let me know, though. I'm kind of curious. In your comments, um, how do you prefer to study? Do you like to study from a textbook and just kind of highlight? Do you like to read your own notes? Have you signed up for my tutoring program and those modules help you? Do you want to learn from modules? Um, mock exams, case studies, how do you like to study for the board exam? Let me know and I'll see you guys in the next one.